Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different methods to make a transparent title like what you just saw. Let's get started. I'm in Adobe Premiere Elements Expert Mode, and I already loaded a clip onto video track one. With the first method, I'm going to use the built-in title feature in Premiere Elements and keyframes. To get to the built-in text feature within Premiere Elements, you want to click this icon here. You want to select the drop-down menu, and you want to go to Classic Titles, and then general so the one i'm going to use for this one is default text so i'm going to drag this to video track two so the text window is open and in the text window you have the ability to change the font to change it from regular to bold i'm going to make it bold align it style animation shapes for this one i'm going to keep it like this only thing i'm going to do is going to highlight it and i'm going to take the size and make it 200 and then i'm just going to realign it the thing that's important when using the doing this method is to make sure that the text falls within the view window. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects, then I'm going to go search for track mat, then I'm going to use the track mat key. You can also find it under keying. I'm going to take the track mat key and I'm going to apply it to the video one track. I'm going to set the mat to be video two because that's where the text is. Pause it. I'm going to change it to mat luma. So now I have the transparent text here. The next step is I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to scale this up to as large as I can. So about 400 to have the text scroll across the screen. I'm going to use keyframes. So if you aren't familiar with keyframes in the top right corner, I'll link to a video that explains five different ways you can use keyframes and all the basics you need to know on how to use keyframes. I'm going to select this which is show high keyframes control. That's going to open this up. I'm going to set the initial position for the text to be off screen. So I'm going to toggle on animation. We'll toggle on animation. I'm going to drag this across the screen. So I drag the text so it's just off the screen. Next, I'm going to move the slider down and I'm going to set the position, doing my best. And again, you can use this right here to adjust the position. And I'm going to drag this off screen. So to go between the two keyframes, you can click this arrow. So the only thing I want to change is make sure that this 407 matches both sides. So I'm going to change this one to 407. That way the height is the same between both the keyframes. Let me click play. Let me see how it looks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull this keyframe a little bit further back to slow it down. And now the text is going at a slower pace. That is the first method to create transparent text. I think the second method looks better, but before I show you method two, if you're new to my channel, my name is Ish. My channel is focused on travel experiences and fun. One of the things I share on my channel is how I edit videos using Adobe Premiere Elements. If you use Premiere Elements 2, then check out my playlist that features my videos on how to do some cool things with the software. I will link it in the top right corner at the end of this video and below in the description. If you want to stay on top of all my latest videos, then join Team Ish. Hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss another video. Two problems with the first method are that as you scale the text up, the quality deteriorates, and the other problem is Premiere Elements has a limited number of text options. For the second method, you can use a graphic editor like Adobe Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I'm going to use Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, it's a graphic design platform to create visual content. I use it to create my thumbnails and use it for stock footage. For example, the clip from Washington DC that you saw earlier, I got from Canva. To access stock footage, you need a pro license. And right now, using my affiliate link, you can get a 30-day free trial of the Canva pro license. I will place the link in the description if you want to give it a try. For method two though, you don't need a pro license. You can use Canva for free for what comes next. All you need to do is sign up for a free account. I'm in Canva. I want to head over to create a design. I want to select custom dimensions. My project in Premiere Elements is 1920 by 1080. In Canva, I want to keep the same height, but I want to increase the width. That way the quality when I use it in Premiere Elements can be a high quality image. The dimensions I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spread the text out along three frames. Take 1920 and multiply it by three. So I'm just going to round up to 6,000. So I'm going to create a 6,000 by 1080 size project. Here I'm going to select create new design. I'm in Canva with my designs already to the dimensions. I'm going to select text. I'm going to take add heading. I'm going to drop it down here. I'm going to change the size to 140. This is the thing that I like about Canva is it has a lot more different fonts available. My favorite is this one right here. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to change this to 
in all caps, Washington, D.C. Scale this up some more. And then Canva also gives you the ability to position. So I'm going to make sure it's in the middle. And then I want to make sure that I leave a space in the front. And you'll see why when I drop this into back into Premiere Element. And then leave that space in the front. So now that I have Washington, D.C. the way I want it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select download and then I'm going to download this file PNG it's at the dimension 6000 by 1080p and then I'm just going to select download back in Premiere Elements so I'm going to drag this track to video track 2 and as you can see I have the black text on the white background but the text isn't transparent go to video track 1 make sure I open effects I'm going to select reverse so with reverse, now I have the transparent text with the black background. I want this to go to now pan across the screen. I'm going to select the image. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to pan and zoom. So my clip was about 10 and a half seconds long. So I'm going to select reset. Then I'm going to go to settings. For hold time, I'm going to set mine. I already have to one second. Um, for pan time, I'm going to select the pan time to be about eight seconds I'm gonna select OK so those settings are locked in there then I'm gonna go to add new frame so I'm gonna drag this open and I'm gonna set it right in front so the reason why I have it this way is because I want it to start with the text off screen so this first second is gonna be a one second hold and then it's gonna start playing then this is going to drag across the next one I'm going to add it's gonna be right here and I'm gonna drag it so it matches the size of that one. So I'm going to have it be right there on DC. Maybe just have it fit. I'm going to preview it. So see it's blank and then there's Washington coming across and then it's going to hold on DC and then I'm going to click done. So now I have this in there. Let me click play and there it is. It's going across the screen And then there it is, it stops on DC. You can keep it going or have it there. I'm going to stop it right there. So just to take one quick second, the main difference between method one and method two is how I created the text. In method one, I used the Premiere Elements text creator and then I used keyframes to be able to move it. In method two, I used Canva to create the text, pan and zoom to be able to pan across this image and be able to make it slide across the screen. But you can use the pan and zoom or the keyframes with either the text that you create in Premiere Elements or the text that you create using the graphics editor. So this is the issue with the text creator. This text was created using Adobe Premiere Elements. When you try to use pan and zoom with the text creator in Premiere Elements, this is the issue that you come onto. That you really don't have the space because of the size of the text and the way it's made, especially with long amounts of text. You don't have the space like I did with text that I used that I created from Canva. You can adjust it and mess around with it, but the text, you're then shrinking the text more. And then in order to scale it up, you're losing more quality in my opinion. This is quick and dirty, but the best method would just be to go to a secondary option like Canva or, or Photoshop and be able to use that to create the text file. So you can then bring it in and then pan and zoom across the image. So that's why I would use that as a preferred method, but go with what's your best judgment or play around with it and see what you think ultimately works for your videos or looks better. Say I don't want black. Say I want another background. For example, if you look at my videos, most of my videos that I have, they all my thumbnails, they have a distinct red that I use. So let's say I wanted to use a red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this text to video track three. I'm just going to move this down here for right now. I'm going to go here. I'm going to select a new item. I'm going to select color mat. And then in this window, this allows you to pick whatever color you want or like. So you have the ability to move around and click different colors to be able to get what you want. For me, luckily, I know the color code of my thumbnails that I use. So I'm going to put that in. So I have that color that I use. I'm going to select OK. So now I get that color mat in there. Take the color mat and I'm going to take it to video track 2. And I'm going to drag it so it matches. Just comes a little bit after that. So now 
I have all three on there, but to get the transparent text to work with the color map, what I have to do is I have to go back to video track one and I'm going to delete the track map. So there's no track map on video track one. I'm going to take the track map and I'm going to move it to video track two. So now the video is on, the track map is on video track two. I'm going to change the map to video three. I'm going to change the composite again to Matt Luma. On video track three, there is now the transparent text coming across. That is how you can add color to your transparent text. And if you look, you can just see how sharp the quality looks. And then the last thing I'll do, I'm just going to add a transition to the color map. The film dissolve, it's going to have that dissolve. So in the comments below, let me know what method you prefer. Do you prefer just doing everything in Adobe Premiere Elements or do you not mind going out using something like Canva or Graphic Editor where you can create that larger image and be able to adjust the text better. But my name's Ish. I hope you got value out of this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Just something that you have a question about or you think I could have done better, let me know down in the comments. But I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today.